In this video, I'll show you how to connect your iPad to your computer and then show your iPad screen in Teams. To connect your iPad to your computer so you can use it to display the iPad screen in Teams, we need to connect it as a camera. So we're gonna use this device. This is a video capture device. On one end, it has the regular USB. This pl plugs into your computer. And on the other end, it has an HDMI input. So we're going to use uh, an adapter from an iPad. So my adapter is this one. Uh, my uh, iPad has a lightning uh, adapter, so that's a lightning. And on this end, it has both the uh, HDMI and the lightning ports there. So you can charge it while you are using the HDMI port. And then we're just gonna use a regular HDMI cable, HDMI on each end to connect the iPad, the output of the iPad, which is what the adapter gives us, an HDMI output, to the input on the video capture device. And this is going to allow your computer to see the iPad screen as a camera, and then you can share it in Teams. So I'll go ahead and hook that up, and then I'll show you in Teams how we use it. So I have my Teams meeting set up. And the technique I'm going to show you works uh, best if you are the organizer or part of the organization that is holding the meeting so that you have full capabilities. If you're a guest in the meeting, you want to have full capabilities. There's uh, spotlighting you won't have access to. Now, you see I've got three different machines connected to this particular meeting because I wanted you to see what this looks like. My video is down in the lower corner there. Sorry, that's a little uh, disconcerting with me speaking on the side there. So what we're going to do is we're going to, now that we connected the iPad through that video capture device to my laptop, it sees it as a camera. So in Teams, I can go ahead and change that camera. So I'm going to go to the three dots here in the controls and go to device settings. And it's going to allow me in the camera section here to change the camera. Now, my particular uh, video capture device is this one here, USB 3 HD video. When I click on that, you'll notice my video that down there becomes the iPad screen because the iPad screen is mirroring itself to the meeting. So now I can go ahead and close the device settings. And my next step is to spotlight my video to the entire meeting. Now what spotlighting does in Teams is it allows you to force your video to be large on everybody's screen. And the way we do that is we open the participants list so click on the show participants icon and I'll go to my particular uh, listing here and click on more options and it will say spotlight me. And it will uh, likely ask you to confirm you really do want to be spotlighted. So when you click on spotlight, uh, it will now spotlight you to the rest of the participants in the meeting. And you'll notice you get some uh, notifications here to say, hey, I just realize your, your spotlight in the meeting. Now, in the meeting, they can see my iPad screen as my camera, large on their particular screen. And now I can do anything I want. So let's say I wanted to do a, a demo of an app. So I can just start up PowerPoint here on my iPad and you'll notice I'm right into PowerPoint. So I can do, let's say, some training. So if you're doing training on Teams and you want to switch between uh, training on an iPad app and uh, some other content you're using, very easy to do so. The other thing you can do with an iPad, which is really great, is you can use a whiteboard app. So uh, you can use any uh, uh, whiteboard app. I'm going to use the Microsoft whiteboard app here. And it allows you to draw on the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say create a new whiteboard. This now allows you to really have interactivity with your participants. So let's say we're talking about a process and I say, OK, I think uh, the way this works, I'm going to go to the pen here and I'm going to go to my black pen and I'm going to say, I think uh, A leads to B and then that leads to C. Now we have a discussion. Somebody says, hey, you know what? Um, you can't do C after B. Both A and B have to happen at the same time before C can get going because of timing. Oh, OK. So now I'll just use the eraser here and I'll erase what I've done. So you notice everybody's in the meeting is seeing this and we're doing this 
interactively. Now I can go back to my pen and I can say, okay, so B and C's here. So A has to be done and B has to be done at the same time before we can go ahead with C. Is that how it works? Yeah, absolutely. And so you can see how you can use the iPad as a whiteboard in your team's meeting by spotlighting that to the rest of the audience because you're, you're showing it as a camera in your team's meeting. When you're done, you can simply change the camera back. Now, one thing to notice, you'll see on the screen here, it looks like it is uh, mirrored when I'm looking at it on my own screen, but don't worry, that's just because it's mirroring it to you because when you normally have a webcam, that's what you should be doing. So it automatically does that, but the audience sees it the correct way. Now we can just go back and turn off the spotlight. So when you go back to your own uh, item in the participants list, uh, you could have closed that. I just left it open for this demo. You can click on it and say exit spotlight. And again, it can ask you to confirm. Do you really want to change that? You say yes. And then it gives you a notification you're no longer. And now I can go back to the meeting uh, device settings and change my camera back to my webcam, my regular webcam. And now everybody's me on the webcam in the meeting. And so that's how you can connect your iPad to your computer using a video capture device, an HDMI cable, and then an adapter from your iPad to that gives you an HDMI output to give yourself a camera that you can use within a Teams meeting. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.